first ring of the 2020 season on my first hunt. This is my one, two, th about the fourth target. And uh, you can see it's going to be a nice little ring. Well, with all the COVID-19 going on and all the sheltering in place going on, I just haven't done a lot of hunting. You can probably tell I haven't uploaded any new videos or anything like that. I've just been staying home and trying to stay healthy. And uh, plus, a lot of stuff has been shut down. Uh, the lakes and parks and things like that. But now, here in Texas, things are slowly picking back up. And I decided to go out today and do a little water hunting. I was watching the Garrett new reveal to the Apex. Looks like a pretty nice machine. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But I'm headed out to the lake today, see what we can find. There's not a lot of swimmers, so I don't know if there's going to be a lot of stuff. It may take several trips to the lakes to find one enough to make one video. But uh, I got all my stuff rigged up and set out. I want to show you what I hunt with and how I hunt up and, uh, and things like that. So I uh, got me some good water boots. I always love my water boots. These are Seasoft Sun Rays with a big thick heel. And that's really good when I'm pushing on my coil. And I uh, got my water pouch here put the trash in here put my treasures in here a lot of times when I find rings I put all the rings on the carabiner but I don't leave them out like this where people can see them I put them out I actually put them down inside of here I put all my coins and stuff when I'm through for the day in my little finds box there it's just really a gum bought it from Walmart gum and uh, I keep a knife on me just in case I get ca caught up in a fish hook in some line or something like that and I keep my uh, pin pointer for the shallow targets up in the shallow waters that it's just easier to just reach down with a pin pointer than your scoop. Um, I'm hunting with my trustworthy AT Pro. The Pro is the best machine Garrett has and I love it. I love the sounds, the tones and that's what I hunt with. I can hunt with my uh, CTX 3030, I can hunt with my Equinox 800 but I just find I love my AT Pro to hunt with. It's just simple and it's quick and I just love it. And uh, so I hunt with my AT Pro. Um, got my Grey Ghost Amphibian headphones on and I hunt with a small coil. And the reason why is because it fits perfectly in here and I can just pinpoint off the toe, I mean the heel of my the, uh, coil and stick this uh, scoop right behind it and get it every single time. Uh, I've got my scoop cam rigged up. This is it's kind of set up to where it can be upside down and flip the image up. But to show the scoops down in the sand and dirt and stuff. And so that's my scoop cam. And this year I'm going to add that. When you see the scoop cam, you're going to see that up on the video where it says scoop cam. But this is my customized rig. It's got like a four foot uh, aluminum handle on it. And I had, a, uh, had it altered here and put a handle right here where I could have the scoop like that. And it's really nice. I really like it. But that is my setup. And so I'm headed out to the lake today and uh, just going to see what we can come up with. Most other lakes are not going to be open till I think later on this week, this weekend or next week they're going to open up. And I'm not even sure right now if the new lakes are even open. But we're going to go see what we can find today. The rain's going to be coming in this evening, so I got to get out there and get with it. So uh, I'll. Uh, give you some thoughts as I'm traveling about the new apex on the way and uh, and then we'll get out in the water and see what we find all right let's go have some fun so let's talk a little bit about the new Garrett uh, a series detector called the apex as I said I was just watching that video and uh, decided to cut out about halfway through it after they started repeating a lot of the same information and uh, I don't know the price of it yet I'm assuming it's going to be around the $500 mark because the Ace 400 is around $400, uh, and so, which is a good competitive price. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, my overall opinion of it is, number one, I think Garrett has got the best um, uh, customer service that anybody in any other dealers out there or any other uh, manufacturers out there. They're just, I know the people personally, and uh, Steve Moore and all the gang up there at uh, Garrett are just uh, second to none. They're really good. And I've never had any problems. In fact, just the opposite. If I ever had any problems, they've always gone above and beyond uh, quickly to fix and repair and send it back. And that's what I love about Garrett. And even though I really love my Equinox 800 and, and the Apex is not going to replace my 800, 
Uh, I still love Garrett products, and uh, even though I don't, I still use the Garrett products on my water hunting. I use the AT Pro. I still have the AT Max, and uh, most likely, I will most likely buy the Apex just to have it in my arsenal of weapons because uh, it, I like the new, the, I like the new design. It uh, kind of favors kind of the the uh, Deus and the uh, Equinox and things like that. I'm glad they went with a new design rather than the big console box on top of the shaft. I'm not real fond of the shaft, but it's doable. You can always uh, do a different shaft on the old models, but on the newer models, it looks like you can't be—you won't be able to do that. I'm real excited that it is uh, rechargeable. That's another good aspect. I'm, I'm very, very excited of the large numbers. When you get my age, those numbers really pay. It really helps to watch those big numbers. And uh, I, I like the tones that they had. The sounds didn't seem too annoying like they are on the AT Max. Uh, they sounded very good. I like the sounds. And uh, I like the new console design. It's thin. It stands up straight. And I uh, like the fact that it has a backlight on it. That's another good aspect of it. And, uh, but the one thing that I love the most, and I've been asking Garrett for this for three years now, is multi-frequency. I never thought they would do it. Congratulations, Garrett, for catching up with the market. Yes, multi-frequency. And uh, you can choose between 5, 10, 15, and 20, or go to multi-frequency. So it gives you a, an option of five choices there, uh, four different frequencies for di four different types of detecting, and then a multi-frequency uh, simultaneously running. And that is good. Still doesn't match my Equinox, which has five frequencies and uh, is still a multi-frequency. But hey, it's a great step for Garrett to come up to the market of a multi-frequency. I'm very proud of them for doing that. And I'm hoping, I think I heard in some of the hints of what they were saying, as Steve was saying, Steve Moore that is, that uh, there's maybe in the future there's going to be some more remodels like that. And this uh, new design may be carried over. And I'm hoping, if I had a choice, I would say take the AT Pro and upgrade it just like you did the Apex. Upgrade it to that and make it an AT Pro, AT Pro 2 or something. I would buy it in a heartbeat. Uh, the only downside about the Apex that I that I saw, that I heard was, um, and I didn't hear them actually say it, I heard them say that it was rainproof, but if it's in keeping in line with the rest of the A, uh, the A series, it's not gonna be waterproof. The coil is waterproof. And the coil, I have to say, is rocking. I like that coil. The Viper coil looked very nice. I like the fact six inches by 11 inches. That's awesome. I like that. And uh, that means I can use it like if they went with a water rig one day. It, that, that'd be nice. You can cover more ground and still have that narrow that your scoop can still go behind in water hunting. But I like the coil. And But they said it was rainproof. And I saw some people going on the screen saying yes waterproof wa waterproof it was it's, they did not say it was waterproof uh, they said it was rainproof and that's the last I heard from that so that'd be the only negative remark but that's in keeping with the a series the waterproof machines are the next line up which is the AT series and uh, I understand that respectfully and uh, but I'm just hoping now that they'll take this new design this new console and redesign now the AT Pro keep the same tones and uh, just change it all over to the AT Pro, make it waterproof. And when they do that, if they do that, I would buy that machine as well. So congratulations, Garrett. It looks like a great machine, very competitive with the market of the uh, the uh, Equinox uh, series that Mind Lab has and uh, the other Nocta detectors and uh, the Deus. And it looks like it's a good detector for uh, a middle to beginner, uh, but for the more advanced, I think, they may buy one just to have one in their arsenal, but they won't be their primary detector. Uh, but I'm glad to see that Garrett finally came over to multi-frequency. That makes me very happy. Uh, I like the products. They're all good. And uh, But uh, now if we can just get one like the Apex, but be waterproof, I would, I would, but I'm going to end up buying the Apex anyway and, uh, and just play with it. I like having a, a, a vast array of detectors. I have four of them right now. And uh, two Garrett's and two Mind Labs, so I, I'm kind of a Garrett Mind Lab guy anyway. But uh, anyway, that's my thoughts about the new Apex. Uh, I know it's going to be a good machine for a lot of people. I encourage you to get with your dealers and get on the order and, and get you one in, and that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I don't know the price yet. I'm assuming around the $500 mark. 
maybe four or five hundred dollars. But uh, but anyway, that's enough yapping for now. Uh, I'm excited to get out. This is my first water hunt uh, of 2020. And uh, really, I haven't hunted much. I went to England back in February, came home, and we went hunted. I hunted once in March and once in uh, uh, February and once in March, and that is it. I have not hunted anymore. Uh, no land hunt, no water hunts, nothing. And so I am excited to get out today and slowly get back into it. And everything seems to be opening up. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and try it today and see what we come up with. If I find anything good, I definitely will turn my camera on and I'll show it to you. And so I'll see you out in the water. Well, the water's kind of cold today. It takes a little bit getting used to. Once you get in, it's okay. I usually don't get in the water till about Memorial Day, but uh, this year it seems like it's been a little bit warmer. But it's a little cool. And I'm just going to show you everything I find. It's a bunch of coins and trash and stuff. I'll just do a musical montage with that and speed it up and show you all the good stuff. So let's get at it. season on my first hunt this is my one two about the fourth target and uh, you can see it's gonna be a nice little ring I think it's gonna be a stainless steel ring I don't see any markings on it. it's ringing up like a 47 48 and so uh, I'll take it hey it's my first ring it means there's something out here so uh, let's keep on at it It's been a while since my last target and I decided to come up a little bit more shallow and work in here. Got an 86 uh, good tone and end up being a silver ring. A little tarnished on the outside but 925 on the inside. All right that's my second ring. My first one was a stainless. This was a silver. I've got about an hour more to go. Let's see what else we can get. about 10 minutes got my first ring it's a silver ring got some little diamonds on top of it that's nice that's uh that's a good positive sign we may find some more let's get let's keep at it all right all you digs this is benjamin he uh called me over and uh, he's got something here oh yeah that's a preacher digger special right there yep that is a cross he got the cross instead of me had to have it Gotta have it, man. All right, good find, man. Right. I've been out here for about 30 minutes, and I got my first uh, silver ring. Ring up is an 87. Got a few diamonds on top. Looks like it's missing one. So uh, that's a good sign. Keep on going. Fifteen feet away from that other ring, I just found another silver ring. It's been in the water a while. It's tarnished pretty good. That's uh, ring number five for the trip. Two at this location. All right, let's keep going. I 
also got this uh, silver bullet. I guess it was a necklace. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Something different. All right, let's keep on going. Went to the second lake, didn't find anything. Stayed there about an hour, got a 50 cent piece. You saw it on the scoop cam. But now I'm at my final lake. These lakes are three lakes in a row, just boom, 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 about 20 minutes apart. And I found the first two rings. This is where my video started. The two rings I found first in the video came from here. And so we're gonna see if we can't, uh, being uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, on Friday, it's not quite the weekend yet. So we'll get out there today, see if we come up with anything. And if I do, I'll turn the camera on. We'll show it to you. All right, let's go have some fun. Well, I was, got a 70. Saw it in the scoop cam. And uh, I don't think it's going to be. I can't, I can't read anything. I don't think it's going to be precious metal. But uh, being a 70. I don't know. I have to look inside of it. Neat little ring. But I was on the way out. All right, that's number six. It's been a good, uh, been a good week out in the lakes. Well, I made it home. Started out 6:30 this morning. Went up to Dallas area. Look how red and burnt I am. I have been a long day today. Hunted for about four or five hours with the U.S. Marshals and Texas Ranger and Sheriff and PD to try to find a murder weapon. We never could find it. So I decided on the way back I would uh, hit three lakes and one after another and. Uh, and I hit the lake earlier this week on Tuesday and then last weekend. I put all these together. I think it's four different lakes, one lake twice. Ended up getting a lot of good stuff. And uh, let me spin you around here. Let me show you what I found. Uh, forgive me, it's a little windy out here. We got some weather coming in. Here's my setup. I got my boots and got my scoop cam. How y'all like that? Got my scoop cam. You'll be seeing that in the video. And I got my other camera equipment over there and everything else, my water pouch. And I hunt with my AT Pro. I just love water hunting with my AT Pro. But here is the trash. There's the aluminum caps, the trash, there's the wire, there's the uh, glasses, the bottle caps, the lead and the foil. Here's all the square and some old uh, square tabs. And then here's all the old pool tabs. Definitely in an older swimming area. Uh, hit this one lake down with Bayou Digs down there in South Louisiana. And boy, I guess. I found three of these uh, vape things. I found a lot of that. Found a cool looking car. I got two, four, six, eight uh, pennies. And we got three nickels and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dimes. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve uh, quarters. We do got one pizza token. I forgot it. It's over there. And then one 50 cent piece. Check that out, 1972. Uh, I was given a badge by the uh, U.S. Marshals. This is his badge. Look at that's really cool, isn't it? Eastern Arkansas United States Marshal Task Force. I was awarded a U.S. Marshal badge, and this is his, uh, his unit that he's with. I forgot what EATF stands for, but they're with the Ghost Division. And uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to put my picture that I took with them. I'll put it in, the, in this video as well. But here are the treasures. We got, we did get a cross. Preacher Digger did get his cross. There it is. A couple of big loop earrings, a couple of studs, and one ear gauge. I got this silver bullet. That's really neat. I'm going to see if it opens up or anything. But that's, that's really neat. I like that. Got two junk rings. That one right there rang up a 70, and that one rang up in the 40s. That's stainless steel, and I believe this is going to be some type of copper, junk, or something. I don't know. I have to clean it up. It's got some markings on it. But here are the good treasures. 
I found uh, this one in the first lake, the one on the right, front right, front in the front lake, first lake, and then uh, I found the other ones in the, the other lakes, but uh, you can see that's a really nice ring. I found that one down in Louisiana. They'll clean up really good. I found this one today in the first lake. That rang up like an 87. That rang up really good. I have one of these type of rings. Uh, I have to look and see if this is not a... Uh, see what type of marking is in there. It's, there it is, 925. And then we got a band. So I got these two two rings and the, these rings were all in the same lake. And these rings were in the same lake and then that ring was by itself. And I got this with that lake right there. Whoops, must have do a flip on me there. All right, even got some swag here. Check that out, preacher digger. Well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. My first water hunt for the season, and the water's still a little cool. But the greatest treasure, my friend, is not what you can find and put on your back of your tailgate and make a video. The greatest treasure, I always say, is up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say God bless. And happy honey.